Coming up, are you preparing to soft launch your app? Well, in this video, I'm gonna show you how to actually select the countries, the soft launch countries within iOS and Google Play. Stay tuned. What is up App Nation? It is Steve P. Young, founder of appmasters.com. You know, the place you go when you want action-packed content in the app business. And we have an app marketing agency where we'll do everything for you, or we have an academy where you can learn our exact process. But I'll tell you more about that later. Today, I really wanna show you, this is a friend of mine asked this question in a mastermind that I run. He said, hey guys, how do you actually select the countries? I'm looking to soft launch my app, which is very, very important. Now, for those who are looking to soft launch their app, I do recommend soft launching in different countries. So usually I stay away from the US, I stay away from Canada. I try to go to other places like the Philippines, which is very much similar to a Western country and how that would, that would interact, but you can drive cheaper traffic through it. And so I've got a ton of content on that, but in this video, I just wanna show you exactly how to do it within iTunes Connect and also Google Play. So without further ado, let's get into the screen share. All right, guys, so I'm gonna pick an app that I was planning to release, but we're not gonna release it anymore. And so I'm already within the app. I'm gonna go into my account, but this is the app, Twin Trouble. So once you come here, you're gonna see the app information, which is everything that you have to add. Now, here are the things that I'm gonna to recommend to you. So when you're preparing for submission, obviously you're gonna add all this information in here, but what you also need to do is, here's what I would recommend. Don't put automatic releases version because what will happen is after appro Apple approves the app, it will automatically get released. And so you can't really time it properly, okay? But with the soft launch, I would recommend setting a date way into the future. So typically I recommend putting it to 2019, a year later. So as of this recording, it's 2018, but I would put it like a year or so later because you can always come back in here and adjust the date. So put 2019, because what will happen is Apple will see it in review, approve it, and then get it pretty much ready for the App Store, all right? So very, very critical point. Always put it for something way beyond a date, because you can always come back here and adjust that date after it's been approved, and you can do your soft launch and everything else, okay? So put it a year late from now, all right? And then what you're gonna do is obviously submit, get it approved by Apple, and then once you have done that, you're gonna go into pricing and availability right here. I'm gonna save this just because why not? So I'm gonna go to pricing and availability. And here's where you select the countries. So if you're launching a game, I do recommend making it available for pre-order. So definitely check that off because we've been able to get a client featured through that. And then, oh, I haven't selected pricing, but let's make it free. Save, let's see. Cool. And then here's where you're gonna select the territories. So. So you can select all, which is default, or you can select the countries that you want to launch into. So maybe you want to say, hey, you know, I want to launch in the Philippines and then maybe, you know, Thailand, I don't know, Switzerland, Sweden. So you select the countries that you want to launch in, Norway, and then click done. So you can select those countries that you want to make it available in and then obviously run whatever acquisition campaigns that you want to run as well. Okay, so I'm gonna leave that. Let's move on to Google Play. So here's what you're gonna do. You're gonna go into store presence and then go to pricing and distribution. So kind of like Apple. Okay, you have it as free or paid, whatever you wanna do. And then here's where you manage the countries. Okay, cool. And so you can make it available everywhere or unavailable everywhere, available ev everywhere or unavailable everywhere and then certain places available. So maybe I'm gonna soft launch in Australia and Canada and the Philippines and so forth. So that's where you do that. And then you hit submit and then boom, you're done. That's it. You're off and running. And now you can do any of your soft launch marketing campaigns that you've got set up. All right, guys, that was it. Really cool, really easy way of soft launching your app in the various countries that you might be trying to target in the early days. Now, the last thing I'll mention is a few of you guys are confused on what we do. So appmasters.com, we have an agency where we help app our app clients with ASO, app marketing, consulting, and also helping them 
get featured by Apple in different growth hacks that we've sort of devised. We have another piece of our business where is the academy. So this is a community along with our courses which show you exactly what we do for our clients. So we have two pieces of the pie. If you wanna work with us, if you want us to execute, you can pay us a certain amount. And then if you wanna learn how we do everything, because everything's up there, it's under appmastersacademy.com. If you are enjoying these videos, make sure you hit subscribe, make sure you hit like, and I'm gonna ask you a question of the day. What countries do you like to soft launch in? Leave it in the comments below and I'll see you on the next video. For more soft launch strategies, make sure you click that video up there. And then if you're looking for just different app marketing launch tips, then make sure you hit that video right there, all right? Don't forget to subscribe.